Hello guys and welcome to this hard video in the video series of structural dynamics and in this video we will discuss on the damped vibration and its numerical. So damped free vibration. For damped case or condition damping force as we have already discussed in the first part damping constant into velocity and where C is the damping constant. Now considering this as a rigid beam and supported by the columns and considering it as a mass M with the stiffness K and, and it is subjected to a damping condition with the dashpot constant or damping constant as C. Let us draw the mass spring system or we can say yeah ma uh, PT that is the applied force but for our case that is free vibration so it will be zero and representing with the mass spring system here and now it will be or there will be an addition of the damping uh, arrangement in this mass spring system which is different than that of the undamped free vibration. Now the equation of motion is m of acceleration into dashboard constant into velocity plus stiffness into displacement is equal to zero. There is no any external force being applied here. so. The solution of such equation is achieved by replacing displacement as e to the power st. Okay, so this is uh, displacement. Now, velocity will be equal to s into e to the power st and acceleration that is the second derivative. We get s square e to the power st. I have already done in the undamped free vibration also. Now, substituting the value in the equation of motion so this is the equation 1 m into s square e to the power st plus c into s e to the power st plus k into e to the power st is equal to 0 now taking e to the power st as the common m s square plus c s plus k is equal to 0 since exponential term cannot be equal to 0, so that is EST cannot be equal to 0, that means ms square plus cs plus k is equal to 0, which is a quadratic in nature. Okay, ms square plus cs plus k is quadratic in nature. So, for its solution, we have a simple uh, formula that we have already discussed in the class 10, 11, 12. So, s is the root here. So, s is equal to minus b. So, that is c plus minus b square that means c square minus 4 into a b a c so here a is m and c is k and 2 divided by 2 a that means 2 into m so this is the solution for the quadratic equation now let us separate out the terms so s is equal to minus c by 2 m plus minus now we will take the all values inside the square root so c square by 2m square 2m whole square minus 4mk by 2m whole square okay now we'll replace the values here so here uh, s is equal to minus c by 2m plus minus c square by 2m whole square minus 4mk by 2m square. I've just repeated this step. I'll make you clear here. Is equal to minus c by 2m plus minus under root c by 2m whole square. Now mm get cancelled here. 4 4 will be also cancelled. So omega square because k by m that means omega square. Note. If uh, 
c by 2m square minus omega square is greater than 0 it has two values or two roots that is s1 and s2 these are the notes you have to make clear about this if c by 2m square minus omega square is equal to 0 it has a single root s and if c by 2m square minus omega square is less than 0 it has two roots it will have the same two roots but it will be imaginary okay that is two imaginary roots s1 and s2 it will be very helpful to determine the type of damping okay critical damping or what over damping under damped case so now let us assume a constant xi be a damping ratio and xi is equal to c that is critical const uh, sorry damping constant c by c r that is critical damping so c r is equal to critical damping ratio mathematically 2 into m omega m being mass and omega so c by c r is equal to c by 2 m omega so you can see that term over there okay so c by 2 m omega replacing c by 2 m in the equation with xi that is damping ratio xi omega because there was omega also because we have xi is equal to c by 2m omega so omega goes to the left hand side s is equal to minus xi omega plus minus omega under root xi square minus 1 so there is simple tricks i have done in the equation okay so just substituting the value i hope you can understand these things here now we will depend upon the value of xi okay so xi is greater than 1 xi is equal to 1 and this will make us the case or this will make the case so if xi is greater than 1 that is if the value is greater than critical damping it will be a over damped case with two roots okay and if xi is equal to 1 that is critically damped it will be a zero term so critically damped this is the note you have to make for xi is greater than 1 that is over damped i will discuss about the under damped case also later on So since we know displacement is equal to a1 e to the power s1 t plus a2 e s2 t that I have already done in the previous part of the undamped case you can check there this is the uh, general solution of the equation the two real roots include so you can see here okay s1 is equal to xi minus xi omega plus omega into xi square minus 1 and s2 is equal to minus xi omega plus minus omega xi square minus 1 we are taking the two, both values one with the positive and another with the negative then substituting the value displacement is equal to e to the power minus xi omega t so substitute the value okay xi omega t and uh, a1 e to the power omega t xi square minus 1 plus a2 
e to the power minus omega t xi square minus 1. I have taken the uh, e to the power minus xi omega t as a common from both the value of s1 and s2 from a1 and a2 respectively. Okay. For a1 and a2, substitute initial condition. So here you can let me draw the graph. So this being the displacement with respect to time. Now providing an initial displacement at u naught will have a displacement with respect to time as this and with the damping the displacement gets reduced that is the oscillation gets damped. So this is the graphical representation. So for critically damped, we have done for the over damped case. Now for critically damped, that is xi is equal to 1. We have xi square minus 1. So s is equal to minus xi omega plus minus omega 1 minus 1. So simple. Okay, this is 0. Now it will have minus xi omega only. So as I said, it will have only a single root. Substituting the value in the equation of motion ut is equal to a1 that is, that is simply a to the a e to the power st a e minus xi omega t a1 plus a2 t into a to the power minus xi omega t okay i have substituted the value for s1 uh, it will have a single root only so a1 plus a2 t a now we we'll substitute the value of xi that is 1. So a1 plus a2 t into e to the power minus omega t only. Now first derivative that is the velocity. So we get the term as minus omega e to the power minus omega t a1 plus a2 t into plus e to the power minus omega t because it has a will you will we'll use the product differentiation rule here so minus omega t into a2 at t is equal to 0 that is the initial condition so u u of t is equal to u naught that is u0 and u of u velocity of t or velocity at time t is equal to velocity at 0 so u of t is equal to a1 we have t as 0 so a1 e to the power minus omega that is t is equal to 0 so minus 0 so we get a1 that is u of 0 is equal to a1 and u dot of 0 is equal to minus omega e to the power 0 that means once and a1 plus e to the power 0 a2 because we have a2 with t so that will be 0 now we'll get the value of a2 is equal to u dot of 0 plus omega u of 0 then u of t is equal to so substituting the value minus e to the power minus omega t u of 0 plus u dot of 0 plus omega u of 0 okay sorry t Okay, so this is the solution. Now, let us make a conclusion here. As I have already said, for the over damped case and critically damped case, there will be no vibration. Okay, because due to the presence of damping, uh, as you can see that the damping ratio is greater than 1. That means 100%. So there will be no vibration. Xi is equal to ratio of damping 
to critical damping. So if xi is equal to 1 or greater than 1, no oscillation will occur. So this is the graph for the critical over damp. Now if I make for the critical over critically damp, the vibration will go greater than that of the over damped but will decay exponentially quicker than that of the over damped case. Okay, and this is the for over damped case due to the critical damping sorry due to the damping ratio greater than 100% there is no oscillation.